Number 16. The 1966 Canadian half dollar is not considered rare or valuable in general. The coin was minted in large numbers, and it is relatively common to find them in circulation or in collector's hand. However, the value of a coin can vary depending on its condition and any unique characteristics it may possess. If your 1966 Canadian half dollar is in mint state 66 condition, it is considered to be in excellent condition with only minor imperfections. This higher grade can increase the value compared to coins in lower grades. Attractive toning, like in this one, can also add to its appeal for certain collectors who appreciate colorful patina on the coins. This relatively scarce Canadian half dollar ended up selling for $1080. Number 15, 1977 S Eisenhower dollar in PR68 cameo condition. An error dollar coin double struck on a half dollar planchette. With weight of 11.2 grams, just shy of expected 11.34 grams weight of clad Canada of dollar. This somewhat all wrong planchette mint error was struck flush with color dye between 3 and 7 o'clock, where reading is evident. The date and mint mark are bold, the portrait and eagle are complete. It fetched the sum of $3,360 at auction. Number 14, 1940 S. Washington Quarter in MS67 condition with star designation. Enticing gold crimson, emerald green, and lime gold toning occurs near the left of worst border and in a variegated fashion across the reverse. Fully struck and pristine, this is a great superb gem quarter with exceptional visual appeal that's confirmed by star designation from NGC. It was sold for $7,050. Number 13, here is 1927S Lincoln Penny in MS65 red condition. This penny used to be a gem from Tom Merchant Collection, 1927 S. Lincoln Sand Great as MS65 Red is indeed considered a valuable coin. The S mint mark indicates that it was minted in San Francisco. The red designation signifies that the coin has retained its original copper red color to a significant extent. In general, coins from earlier years tend to be more valuable due to their scarcity and historical significance. This Lincoln Sand is no exception. It ended up selling for $9,600 in May 2023. Number 12, 1963 Washington Quarter in Mid State 67. Attractive crescents of orange copper and golden olive iridescence decorate the peripheries of this otherwise brilliant and frosty example. Also, the Denver Mint struck a large total of 135,288,184 quarters in 1963. Precious few have been preserved with enough care to secure a superb gem rating from PCGS, a find for an astute specializing in the 90% silver Washington Quarter series. It was sold for $8,400. Number 11, an error nickel, 2000p Jefferson nickel struck on a 1978 Lincoln cent, graded as MS65 red and brown by ANX. An error that presumably required some help either from meat worker or mischievous meat visitor, since the cent host was struck 22 years before its nickel overstrike. The 1978 cent date is faint but legible near the back of Jefferson's head. A lustrous near gem with dusky gold and lilac red toning. It ended up selling for $12,075. Number 10. 1953S Franklin half dollar in MS65 condition with full bell lines. Also an available date in context of Syria, this San Francisco issue is anything but common with full bell lines designation. The 1953S has a reputation as being the weakest struck date in series, a fact that's borne out by a low number of full bell lines grading events at either service. The strike is unusually sharp on this luster gem coin, with bold definition on all of the raised elements, in including the touchstone bell lines. It ended up selling for $14,100. Here is 1992D Lincoln Cent in MS65 red condition, highly elusive close AM subtype. 
the transitional varieties that has a reverse of 1993, the design subtype is identified by a close AM in America, and the distant FG initials from the Lincoln Memorial and was used on all proof and business strikes for 1993. Apparently, a single reverse tie intended to be paired with 1993D reverse instead was used to strike 1992D cents, likely shortly prior to the date transition. The present peach gold gem is pristine without carbon or contact. It was sold for $14,100. Number 8. This is 1927D Lincoln sent in MS66 red condition. From a substantial mintage of more than 27 million pieces, the 1927D Lincoln sent becomes elusive at the MS65 red grade level, and finer red coins are virtually unobtainable. These coin exhibits razor sharp definition on all design elements, and the original red surfaces are virtually flawless. It fetched the sum of $14,250. Number 7. The 1955 Double Die of Versant probably ranks as the single most celebrated Double Die error of the 20th century, the subject of innumerable articles since the time it was minted. The error was caused by a change in positioning of the hub with respect to the die after the die had already received at least one impression from the hub. These ordinarily would have resulted in a worse type being rejected from the use. But the meat workers responsible for quality control failed to notice the error until several thousand impressions had already been made. Doubling on the date Liberty and in God we trust is as bold as can be. This MS65 red gem was bargained for $26,400. Number 6, 1950 Washington Quarter with the punched mint mark D over S. The curve of under mint mark S is visible at the top left and top side of the subsequent D, one of several fun cherry pickers varieties known for this issue. The surfaces are silvery throughout both sides with just a light blush of toning through sorrow luster and excellent eye appeal. It was sold for $29,375. Number 5, 1932 S. Washington Quarter in MS66 condition. Key date representative. The Washington Quarter series began as a commemorative design for the bicentennial of the first U.S. president's birth. Started with a decently high mintage in Philadelphia, but two low mintage branch issues in Denver and San Francisco. While the 1932 S. Quarter is more available than its D mint counterpart in mint state grades, even the 1932 S is a significant condition rarity at the MS66 level. This fantastic gem ended up selling for $35,250. Number 4. 1927S Lincoln Cent in MS65 Plus Red Condition The 1927S Cent is challenging issue to acquire in full red condition, and at the gem level such pieces are major rarities. No higher grade pieces are known with full red surfaces. The finest of the red gems are three plus graded pieces at PCGS, set in luster bounds on each side, yielding orange gold, rose, and faint greenish hues, all of which fall into red color category. It was sold for $36,000 in 2022. Number 3, the 1926S. Peace dollar is more plentiful than its Denver counterpart in lower mint state grades, but in MS66 it's conditionally rarer, and this San Francisco issue is nearly unknown finer. This example surpasses expectations for the grade, yielding brilliant radiant cartwheel luster and boldly rendered design elements. Neither side exhibits notable abrasions, making eye appeal outstanding. It fetched the sum of $38,400. Number 2, 1995 W Silver Eagle in PR70 deep cameo condition, truly an exceptional example. This technically perfect specimen displays a white on black appearance due to the deeply frosted devices and strongly mirrored fields. The eye appeal is extraordinary on both sides. A few extremely tiny as made strike throughs are present when examined closely, 
but they do not detract from the strong desirability this piece possesses. It was sold for $41,125. Number 1. And here is 1950 Lincoln Cent in pristine MS68 red condition, CEC proven fantastic red gem. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, the 1915P Lincoln Cent is one of the most difficult wheat Lincoln Cents to find in red uncirculated grades that were struck at the Philadelphia Mint. Only the 1914P is tougher than the 1915P in red uncirculated grades from Philadelphia struck with Lincoln Cents. These MS68 red gem ended up selling for $81,562.50 with buyer's fee in 2023. That wraps up our list of rare coins that could potentially hold hidden wealth. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos.